excited to be here. It's amazing. Huge crowd. Everybody, all the folks up here at the front, the elected. Um, we're excited to be here. And I'll tell you what, um, having worked with Darren and Stephanie and Steve on City Council, they make a difference. It's all about leadership and really doing things. It makes my job much easier. We got $5 million for Elk Grove for homelessness. That's working with Darren, Stephanie, and Steve on that, and being able to call someone and say, hey, what do you need? What's going on here? And you, you have no idea. A lot of things go on. You never hear really the backstory. These three up here are involved immensely in Elk politics, getting things done. Um, you know, City Hall's gone through changes for the better because of leadership. That's really the most important part. Um, there's trying times right now, and there's a lot going on. Look around. The six surrounding counties and 22 cities, Elk Grove is the second biggest city. We need good leadership. And these two exemplify that leadership. And that's why I support them. You get asked to support a lot of people during election time, campaign season, folks that live in Rockland, Roseville, Folsom, everywhere else but Elk Grove. So I take my endorsements very seriously. The reason I endorse these two, they have the guts, the determination, the smarts, the common sense. Not all politicians have common sense. That's an, that's an important virtue. <laughs> but they got the moxie to get things done. And that, that's just so important. Um, we're, you know, we're growing right now. A lot's going on, and they're right there. They're thoughtful in the deliberations. And that's what we want, good people. And that's why I support these two for city council and the folks up here. So I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to turn it over to uh, my brother from another mother, Steve Good <laughs> <laughs> morning. Thanks, good morning. Good morning. Assemblyman Cooper had the, one of the longest tenures on the city council. He was the first elected mayor, and right before he went on to assembly, he was the mayor. <clears throat> I've had the opportunity to be the mayor. Both Darren and Stephanie are the only candidates in each one of their races that have all the endorsements from all the mayors that are endorsing candidates. So that's a huge coup in my opinion. Yeah. And even though this is a nonpartisan, both, both these races are nonpartisan races. I'm a registered Republican, but I've always believed about picking the right people. I reached across the aisle and supported Jim when he was on the council and the assembly, and I've reached across the aisle to support both Aaron and Stephanie in their past races and their current races. The two of them have the tools that it takes to do the job. There's a difference between, there was a, somebody brought up an issue to me, there's a difference between a show horse and a workhorse. These two are workhorses. They're not here for the photo ops. They're not here to glad hand and not get work done. They're working, rolling their sleeves up right alongside the rest of the council all the way up through the assembly, through the state and up at the national level. They go back to cap to cap to represent us on huge issues of transportation to bring more money to Elk Grove to make this a, the best place for quality of life issues that we possibly can. So without further ado, I'm glad you're all here and congratulations to both these two because they both are going to win their races. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These two, um, we just got recently for obviously Elk Grove's a lot of kids playing new sports, and these two, um, Steve included, really care about our children. And, and recently, um, before for, for child pornography or you know child exploitation, the state only funded a million dollars for, for to across the state. We got it to five million dollars because of folks like this helping wow. and talking how important it is to protect our children. So they helped me up here. So I mean, they really do the work. And you don't hear about it in the paper or on TV. That stuff goes on all the time, calling and asking, hey, what can you do? Elk Grove needs this. How can you help us get this? And relationships are important. So like I said, five million, to go from one million to five million, yeah. you know, and it's statewide, but Elk Grove is a big piece of that because Elk Grove's involved in it. Yeah, they're on the tech that does child exploitation. So just my hats off to these guys and Steve also. Thank you, Jim and Steve, for these kind words. Jim, thank you for your service as well to the Elko community. I know you were highlighting some of the things that we worked on together, but I don't think you give yourself enough credit. It's typically, our, our, especially with the homeless issue that we have, 
facing the region. That $5 million was huge. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your service, Jim. And Jim's up for re-election in November, too, so let's get him back in. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Yeah. I am so excited. You know, this is what I cherish the most, I gotta tell you. Having all the support here from the Elk Grove community from the region. Seeing all you guys here, it fires us up. Um, I want to take a moment to recognize a few more dignitaries that, that have come taking their time out today. Um, first of all, um, right, uh, we, we mentioned Assemblyman Cooper and uh, Councilmember Detrick, but also unrecognized former uh, City Sacramento Mayor and former County Supervisor, Jimmy Yee. Yeah. He's been a huge mentor and friend to both Stephanie and I, so thank you, Jim, for coming down here today. I want to uh, recognize our school board president, Nancy Chavez. <laughs> by the way, I heard that young man there, her, her stepson, Adrian, doing a lot of great work. <laughs> <laughs> also on the school board, Bobby Singh Allen. <laughs> we have a few of our planning commissioners here today. Uh, Kevin Spees, I saw him right there. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Frank Maida. Yeah. Our newest member of Planning Commission, Mackenzie Weezer. Yeah. Did I miss anybody? I'm not sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay. I also want to I recognize, you know, it's a, a lot about community and, and folks are out here, but I recognize also a few of the other organizations that have taken the time out to, to be here today. Um, first, it, actually, this is community related too. We wouldn't be in this building right now if it wasn't for Pappas Investments. And I know Thad's here representing Louis Pappas and Pappas Investments, so let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> pg &E's, uh, here today. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 340. <laughs> Labor is 185. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'll go through these, we can all applaud at once. <laughs> our, our very own local our firefighters, 522, our Elk Grove Police Officers Association, our Elk Grove Chamber Pack, the, our Republic Services, who provides our, 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 our uh, waste management services here for our city, and then some of you guys will learn more about in the future, Sacramento Region Conservation Corps, helping a lot of activities <laughs> You know, I, um, all of you know how much uh, I care about this community, Stephanie and I both. All of you know how much uh, we, we care about you and your families. I'm here today because I'm not satisfied with our current mayor. <coughs> That's why we're all here today. I know we can do better. We, we have complex, bipartisan community issues like traffic that requires experienced leadership. I have the vision, I have the experience, and I have the skill sets to lead. And I would love to have your help to address these issues. But I need your help to get the word out. I need your help to let others know that we're a really busy city. We got, you know, all the families are, are, are running around doing their thing, everybody's working, and it's really, it's really hard for people to, to take a look at what's going on in their local community. So I need your help to get the word out, to let them know that you feel the same way as many of these Oak Grove community leaders do today. That I'm passionate about this community, that I have the right experience, and I'm, I'm the right person to serve as your man. So um, with that, I wanna thank you for coming out today. Um, I hope you can make the town hall on September uh, 8th and the mayoral debate on September 27th. And any of the dates that we have with the science volunteers, if you can help out here, would be greatly appreciated. I want to take a moment now to turn it over to Stephanie. But before I do, I want to say a little bit uh, about Stephanie myself. She has been a fantastic addition to this council, as, you, as you've heard these two gentlemen say earlier. Um, I just want to add a little bit of specificity. Um, she does her homework, right? She goes, she, t she takes on the issues, she learns about the issues, and she is truly passionate about serving Elk Grove, and I gotta say, she adds a little 
uh, fun and, uh, to our to our work as well. So we all have a, all have a better time than Stephanie's here. And in addition, we, as you know, she's the only woman on the Elk Grove City Council. Yeah. Yeah. Proud to serve with you uh, for another uh, four years, Stephanie. Stephanie, win, everybody. Thank you. So um, I, I just want to take this back two years. Two years ago, when the current mayor that you have now vacated his seat, and this seat here became available, I made one phone call, and that phone call was to this gentleman right here. And I said, "What do you think? Should I go for it?" He says, "You know what he said? He said." He didn't just say, yeah, he said, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. And then I made my rounds and made sure that I had the support of the community and the folks like Detrick and, and uh, Council Member Soon or Vice Mayor Soon before I even put my name in the hat. So if you look around the room right now, I just want you guys to just take two seconds to spin your head around here and take a look at what you see here. What you see here represents Elk Grove. We don't have one diverse, we don't have one kind of any women, female, we even got kids here, we got teenagers here, yeah. right? This here is El Grove. You've got a current mayor right now that your council member is not willing to work with. And you've got a vice mayor here where all of us are backing him up. What does that tell you? That tells you that if you want things to get done in our city, you gotta all get behind this gentleman right here. We need to be up in the community, talking about him soon, making sure he gets in that mayor's seat so that we can have a mayor that's gonna take the lead in this city and get us in the right spot. I would be deeply humbled and really proud to stand with him and be up there for the next four years as your city council member and the only woman on this city council member are on the city council. Furthermore, as you all know, my, my background is workforce development, and we need that so much here in our city. With so many young people, with the school district being the largest school district in our city, I wanna make sure that our young people are gonna have the skill set, the resources, and everything that they need to be successful and become one of us up here, because we need that more than anything right now. It is no longer okay to be 21 and not know how to answer the phone or make copies with a copy machine, right? It is not okay anymore for you to be 25 and still rely on Uber and Lyft to get to and from anywhere. And we need to be a part of that and make that change. And so I am honored to be here to have all of you here with us for our opening campaign, and I look forward to working with you on this campaign trail. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to my father-in-law, mother-in-law, Peter and Polly Lee for the great food back there. I want to yeah. And I've got to recognize my wife. Yeah. <laughs> by public safety and mm -hmm. public safety sets the quality of life for our city so congrats to both of you for getting those endorsements on wow. public safety yep. Thank you. let's eat, let's eat. <laughs>